Mexico extends beyond its borders. Vincente Fox. Mexico is a rich country filled with mystery, danger, and lots of fun. Would you like to discover what makes this country unique in the world? Here is our list of the most popular Mexican traditions. Number seven, quinceañeras. A quinceañera is a celebration of a girl's 15th birthday. It has its cultural roots in Mexico and is widely celebrated by girls throughout Latin America. The girl celebrating her 15th birthday is a quinceañera. This birthday is celebrated differently from any other as it marks the transition from childhood to young womanhood. Historically, the Mexican fiesta of quinceañera is thought to have primarily evolved from the customs of the indigenous Aztec and Mayan groups. Well before the arrival of the Spanish, these ancient cultures would separate young girls from their male peers to provide them with a specialized education in order to prepare them for the responsibilities of womanhood. Nowadays, Spanish influence saw the event evolve to include a trip to the Catholic Church for Mass. La Quinceañera would traditionally wear a white wedding-like gown, although she is often allowed to choose her color herself these days, which unsurprisingly tends to be pink. Friends and family are expected to don their best formal attire. Number 6. Siestas. Siestas are one of the best known Mexican traditions, a short nap taken early in the afternoon. Most closely associated with Spanish culture, the siesta takes place in the afternoon. The exact time of day varies depending on the location, but the most common siesta time is between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. Siestas generally follow the midday meal and are common in warm environments. Technically, Mexico abolished the siesta in 1944, but unofficially, those who can still do. Following lunch, lucky workers get to take a break to go home for a brief rest before getting back into the swing of things. Number five, bullfighting. Since bullfighting is the national sport of Mexico, it plays a large role in Mexican history. Bullfights are still legal in Mexico and a few other countries. The most common place to watch a bullfight in Mexico is its capital city, home to the world's largest bullring, Plaza Mexico. Nevertheless, there has been a strong push to ban these types of events within the country because of animal cruelty. In fact, Mexico is the first country in North America to ban cosmetic animal testing. Number four, piñatas. The piñata is a paper structure made to hold candy, small toys, and other goods. Typically in the shape of an animal or kid's character, piñatas are hung from high spaces during a celebration or fiesta. Once hung, children are blindfolded and encouraged to swing at the piñata with a bat. Because of their popularity in U.S. culture as well, piñatas are one of the most commonly known and exciting Mexican traditions. The Mexican Catholic interpretation of the piñata rested on the struggle of man against temptation. The seven points represent the seven deadly sins. The pot represents evil and the seasonal fruit and candy inside the temptations of evil. The person with the stick is blindfolded to represent faith. Number 3. Las Posadas for many Mexicans, the word posadas evokes chilly nights surrounded by family and friends, singing, enjoying a warm meal, and spreading holiday cheer all around. The word posada means inn or lodging, and traditionally posadas are a celebration of the Christmas story. They take place on nine nights from December 16th to 24th and commemorate the Virgin Mary and St. Joseph's search for a place to stay where Jesus could be born. Posadas in Mexico feature hot food and drinks, sweets, music, and piñatas. Number 2. Cinco de Mayo Cinco de Mayo is one of the most important dates in Mexican culture. The celebrations on Cinco de Mayo are meant to commemorate Mexico's victory over France in 1862. Traditions include military parades, recreations of the Battle of Puebla, and other festive events. For many Mexicans, however, May 5th is a day like any other. It is not a federal holiday, so offices, banks, and stores remain open. 
Before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you won't miss any of our videos. Our number one, Dia de los Muertos. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a two-day holiday held in Mexico. Meant to honor deceased friends and family, according to this tradition, this is a Mexican holiday where families welcome back the souls of their deceased relatives for a brief reunion. Dia de los Muertos takes place November 1st and 2nd. While American Halloween traditions are spooky and dark, Dia de los Muertos is a celebratory event involving cooking, bright colors, all-night vigils on the graves of loved ones, and dancing. We have arrived to the end of our video. Perhaps you would like to share some additional information on this topic. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one.